Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and you're watching my video series on practical JavaScript, where I walk you through the algorithm challenges at freecodecamp.com. Um, before I get into tonight's tutorial, it's going to be a very simple tutorial. It's uh, the truncate a string challenge. Before I get into that, it's going to be really simple, so uh, I have some time to uh, announce this important message. Uh, right now, it's Friday night, and uh, I'm in my office uh, teaching you JavaScript and, and learning with you. And, um, and you're probably thinking, Stephen, you stupid idiot, why aren't you out there tonight? Uh, why aren't you drinking with the, with the cool kids? Uh, well, why aren't you just living it up and, uh, and having a good time? Well, um, you know, uh, I do have a good time occasionally. Uh, well, I have a good time every day, actually. <laughs> and, uh, and this weekend, it's a three-day weekend in Busan, South Korea, where I'm broadcasting this video, uh, actually. Um, and, um, and uh, I, I don't know, um, uh, you know, screw the cool kids. Um, <laughs> I think actually we are the cool kids because we have something that so few people actually have. Uh, me and you, what we have, we have passion. Yes, we have passion because we spend day in and day out learning about code and learning about JavaScript and uh, all of this cool stuff because one day we want to build some really cool shit with code. And in our case, we're going to build uh, some really cool shit with JavaScript. So I think we are the cool kids because we are very passionate and there is nothing cooler than having passion, in my opinion. So, if you're like me, if you have a lot of passion and people are uh, teasing you and pressuring you and distracting you, you know, whatever, forget that, block that. If it's Friday night, do what I do. Just crack open a beer, open your favorite text editor, and, uh, well, let's just get to work and have some fun. Okay, enough philosophy, enough ranting, and uh, let's have some fun and uh, learn how to truncate a string. And super easy challenge. Um, I, I, I mean, I really don't even think I need a video for this, but um, anyway, I wanna go through all the challenges at Free Code Camp. so uh, let's just get down to it. Okay, let's understand the uh, challenge. Truncate a string, okay, that is the first argument, str. If it is longer than the given maximum string length, which is the second argument, none. Return the truncated string with a dot 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 ending in ellipses. Note that inserting the three dots to the end will add to the string length. However, if the link, uh, sorry, if the given maximum string length is less than or equal to three, then the addition of the three dots does not add to the string length in determining the truncated string. Okay, so uh, these directions, um, that, that's really understanding the challenge is the most difficult part. As soon as you understand it, uh, the actual coding is, is really simple. And you are already familiar with the slice method. Um, so it's just a matter of setting up uh, an if block. We're gonna use an if, an else if, and an else. Uh, we're just gonna set that up in uh, a few return statements. So let's get down to it. I got my Atom editor up with a new JavaScript file, nine underscore truncated underscore string dot JS. And I already went ahead and uh, embedded that on line 11 in the example dot HTML file. Okay, so uh, let's get started here. I'm gonna write my first if condition. So um, if the length of the string is less than or equal to the um, um, the, the second argument, num, uh, what we're going to do is just return the string. Uh, because if it's less than or equal to um, the, the string length, well, we don't have to truncate it. We don't have to cut anything. So we just return the string, and that's it. Okay, easy. So let's do an else if. So else if 
if the num is less than or equal to three, okay, uh, then we're just going to return the string, and we're going to use a slice method beginning at the first character, represented by index zero, going up to but not including the character represented by three, and then we're going to add the three dots. Whoops, how did I get there? Okay, and then finally, I'm just going to add an else block. So. Um, um, I mean, if, if you're if you're not familiar with that if blocks, I mean, you should at this point. But basically, we're going to check this condition first, and if that is false, we're going to check this condition, and then if that uh, happens, you know, no matter what, we're going to run this block of code. Okay, so if this is false and this is false, we're going to run this code. All right. So uh, what are we going to run here? We're going to return uh, string. Okay. We're going to start at the first character of that string, represented by index zero. And then we're going to go and we're going to do num minus three. Okay, that's what we're going to do. And then add our three dots to it. Okay, I'm going to save this. I'm going to go to the JavaScript console, run it. Oops. Okay, and there we go. We got a test kit. So that is just one test. Um, and if you just want some uh, extra verification, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this over. I normally don't do this on the videos, but let's go ahead and get that beautiful free code camp success message. Um, all right, so I've gone ahead, pasted my code, and sure enough, it works. Okay, so uh, take a look at this. It's a fairly straightforward. You're already familiar, familiar with Slice because we've used it in so many other challenges before. You know that there is a uh, required argument and a second optional argument. You know that second optional argument goes up to but doesn't include uh, the, the character represented by this number. And, um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you for listening to my annoying, angsty philosophy. And remember that by doing this every day, by working hard, and by building some really cool shit with code, that we are the cool kids. And if you're not out drinking to that, well, you're in your office drinking to it. <laughs> okay, good night, guys, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for improvement, then please don't be a stranger. Please uh, write something in the comments below. Okay, that's it, and goodbye.